sides. You don't want a third wheel hanging around. While you put the moves on Layla? Ain't nobody putting any moves on anyone. Layla and I are together. I know, but come on. You both want to be, right? It was totally obvious before Layla left for the summer. This weekend's your chance. Did I miss the part when y'all Baker twins became pimps? <laughs> you know I'm right. Maybe. What's up, All-American fans? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another All-American video if you're new. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for All-American Season 3, Episode 7. If you're a fan of All-American, if you love All-American, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on All-American, you get them. Now the title to this episode is Roll the Dice and the description for this episode reads with Coop performing in Las Vegas Spencer and some of the gang take a road trip to see her and Layla on tour. Layla is nervous to see Spencer and admit how she is feeling towards him and surprisingly Spencer also gets a little clarity on his feelings. Olivia surprises the group last minute but she notices that Jordan and Simone are acting suspicious, so she enlists Spencer's help to see what they are up to. Meanwhile, with the urging of Coop, Patience tries to stand up for herself, but JP has other plans leaving Patience stunned when she discovers the reason why. Now this was an okay episode. I'm happy that we finally got to see what happened in Vegas, but Honestly, this was a very slow episode in my opinion, and I don't think it was as good as the other episodes. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10, but it was a decent one. Like, I'm just happy they explained finally what happened between Spencer and Olivia. And honestly, I don't even think it was really anything that serious. Everybody's acting like it was such a big secret. I thought maybe they had sex or something, but they didn't do nothing but kiss. We had a couple people missing from this episode. You know, we had Asher missing, Vanessa, Billy, Laura. We didn't see Grace either. And we haven't been seeing Dylan at all. Like, is Dylan even on the show anymore? Because I've only seen him for maybe like two episodes. Like I said, I'm just happy they finally explained everything. I'm just going to get right into the recap. It was a pretty good episode. I can't lie. Um, it just wasn't as good as the other ones. Now, when it first started, we seen where it left off in episode six, where Layla is asking Spencer to tell the truth about what happened in Vegas and not to lie to her if he respects her. Then we see Vegas and it says summer. So we see that the gang, they check into a hotel room funded by JP. So JP is paying for all this and they're just there to have a good time. It's summer, you know, Jordan is there with Simone. She's pregnant everybody's just there chilling of course jj is his normal silly self he's talking about man you know what time it is it's vegas time i like that the whole group was there they were all catching up you know it's been a minute since some of them seen each other we seen coop talking to patients you know they're in the bar and the casino and stuff then we see spencer talking to coop and they're talking about how it's been a minute since they've seen each other but they're happy to see one another they're glad they're spending time together you know they're catching up then we see layla talking to jordan and all jordan can really talk about is simone like he is so in love with simone it's not even funny then we see spencer talking to layla and they're not together as of right now they're just friends you know they're still trying to work to the point to where they decide they want to get back together but they're just chilling they're sitting in front of some slots and stuff and Spencer's saying that he's no good at this and he's gonna lose all his money. They're just having a good time. Everybody's getting ready to leave. They're getting ready to do their own thing. We know that Coop and Layla, they're going out to Coop's show and you know Jordan's going to do his thing with Simone. JJ's getting ready to leave. We see Spencer on the phone with Olivia and he's saying that he really wishes she would've came, that she should've just flew out there with all them. Olivia wants to know what's going on with Layla and Spencer says that, you know, nobody's flirting with anybody. He doesn't think that's going to happen. And basically, Olivia is trying to talk him into getting back with Layla. So we see Spencer wake up in the bed the next morning and everybody's gone. But Olivia pops up. Now, one thing I want to know is how the hell did she get in the hotel room? 
I don't know how she got in there, but she flew all the way out here to see your boy Spencer. So then we see Simone comes downstairs. Of course, Simone is surprised to see Olivia. I mean, everybody would be surprised to see her because nobody knew she was coming, not even Spencer. But Simone was acting really, really weird. So when Simone leaves, Olivia says that she was acting strange. Now next we see Patience talking to Coop and they're just talking about Coop's show and then Patience's music with JP and stuff like that. Then we see Layla go to see her dad and little Jewel is in the room too. And this is a different guy that's ever played JP before right here. This is not the same JP that I remember, man. This is the dude from Breaking Bad. If you guys are huge Breaking Bad fans, this guy right here, his name was Tyrus, I believe, on Breaking Bad. And he was one of the dudes that got killed with Gus in the old folks' home, you know, when they blew it up. You see Spencer and Olivia, and they're shopping. They're just out at stores and stuff. And there's this psychic woman pointing to her sign saying that psychic readings are $10. And Spencer, he doesn't believe in that shit. He's saying that it's a scam and everything. But then they end up going back there and doing it. And the woman is pretty much saying that Spencer and Olivia need to get together like that's basically what she was telling them and Spencer said that he's not trying to hear this no more and he left but the woman tells Olivia that she has to find clarity that she will never truly be happy until she does that now next we see Patience and she's performing her song in front of JP and she was really killing it and JP said that it sounded different than her usual stuff but JP told her to send him her song. Next we see Olivia and she's like freaking out. She said, how did that psychic know so much? And she was just weirded out by it because the psychic said something about a forever love. So Olivia, of course, kept on saying that it was Spencer and Layla that the forever love was. And Spencer's like, yo, you don't even know that. It could be you and Asher. Then next, Olivia says again that, you know, Jordan and Simone might be hiding something. So she looks through Jordan's stuff and Spencer's telling her not to do it. But she looks in there and she finds a marriage certificate. So Jordan and Simone come back to the room and Olivia says, man, what is this? Explain this. And Jordan said, did you really go through my stuff? But if you must know, it's a marriage certificate. We're going to get married. And Spencer and Olivia were against the idea. And Jordan and Simone sat them down and explained why they're getting married. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's happening. Next, we see Coop. And she says to Layla that she's just acting weird. She's not acting herself because she knows that everything is about Spencer. And then next, we see Olivia walking with Simone. And they're just having a girl conversation. But then... Uh, Olivia says hey I do got a question like when you were younger did you picture your wedding to be like this did you picture it to be in Vegas or what and Simone is like man I knew you was gonna come on with this stuff like if you can't be happy for me then I don't know what to tell you but this marriage is gonna happen then we see Jordan and Spencer and Jordan says to Spencer like look I know you have something to say so just get it off your chest like Spencer and Olivia do not think this is a good idea at all but then we see these two strippers come in and apparently JJ sent the strippers to the room and they're like, look, the hours already paid for. So you might as well get something for it. And they said, we even do more than strip. Then we see the strippers just giving advice to Jordan. And, you know, they're saying that maybe it's not a good idea that he's getting married so young. And then Coco says, but then again, Billy and Laura have been together for so long and look what happened to them. And they're just talking to Jordan about his situation. And honestly, this Tiffany chick, the chick in the red, she kind of was getting on my nerves. Every time somebody said her name, she was like, it's Tiffany with one F. Like, honestly, why does it matter if there's one F? If somebody's saying Tiffany, they're saying Tiffany. Why do you got to say there's one F? Next, we see little Jewel saying to Patience that JP played her song for her and she's gonna be the one performing it and she's gonna be the one recording it and stuff like that. So I guess little Jewel thought Patience gave her okay for her to do that, but that's not the case at all because Patience is super upset about the situation. Obviously we know that from previous episodes, she confronted little Jewel. Now we see Spencer and Olivia talking to Jordan and Simone and Jordan says, look, if you can't respect our wishes, if you can't support us, then you're not even invited to the wedding. You can't come. 
Then we see Olivia and Spencer talking out on the balcony at the hotel. And Olivia is saying that maybe, you know, it is good that they're getting married. She says at least they know they really love each other. At least they're happy. And we see Jordan and Simone, they're getting ready to get married. And Jordan is just questioning everything. He's asking Simone if this is really the right thing to do. And she says, I mean, I think it is, but what do you think? And he decides that's what he wants to do. And he asks her to marry him. And she says, man, I think that's really the first time you've ever truly asked me to marry you. Because I guess before, every time they brought it up, all they would say was, why not? But this time they actually had a real conversation about it. So we see Olivia and Spencer come in and they say that they're going to support them no matter what. They're going to be there for them. Then we see Patience and she's just staring in the mirror and, you know, she's crying. And then Coop comes in. Coop says how she can't wait for her show. It's going to be amazing to see all her friends in the crowd. And then Patience says that she's so happy for Coop. But then she asks Coop if little Jewel is married. So Coop says, yeah, why? And Patience says that she was just wondering because earlier in the episode when Patience was going to confront JP about stealing her song, she seen JP hooking up with Little Jewel. So she had to ask if she was married or not. Now next, as Jordan and Simone are getting married, you know, the guy that's marrying them, he's saying everything he has to say. And then we see Spencer, he's just staring at Olivia and this is the look of him being so in love with Olivia right here. And then he just starts thinking about all the times him and Olivia spent together. It starts showing flashbacks from like season one and season two. And then Spencer looks away and then Olivia does the same thing. She stares at Spencer and then she starts thinking about stuff too. So they're both so in love with each other. And then we see Spencer, he's literally tearing up. Like he literally loves this woman. See Jordan and Simone, they actually get married. You know, Jordan wants to skip all that I do stuff and he just wants to kiss his wife. So they end up kissing and then they're officially married. Then we see Olivia back at the hotel. She's packing her stuff and Spencer is saying he doesn't want her to leave, that he wanted her to be there. And then we see Coop saying to Layla, like, you need to just go get your man. Go and get Spencer right now. And Layla says she needs to be there for sound check. So Coop grabs the mic and she's like, mic check one, two. She's like, Sound check complete, now go get your man. The next we see Spencer really confess his feelings to Olivia. He says he fell in love with her. He doesn't know when it was. He doesn't know if it was when she saved him when he got shot or the first time he ever saw her. So they started kissing and it was a pretty long kiss. But then Olivia says, look, what about Layla? What about Asher? We cannot do this and she leaves. And we see Layla walk in and you can tell by the way Spencer was looking. He thought it was Olivia coming back. And when he seen Layla, you can tell he was so disappointed. But she confesses her feelings for Spencer and she says that she loves him and they start kissing. But then we see Olivia. She's outside walking down the street. And Spencer was even calling Olivia before Layla got back to the hotel room. And then Olivia looks at her phone and she sees her flight time and she gets in the cab. And then that's that. Then we see Layla just staring at Spencer in Spencer's house. And I guess that was pretty much him explaining the whole story to her. So I guess they needed a whole episode to explain the Vegas story. Then that's the end of the episode. I thought it was a pretty decent episode. But like I said, it wasn't as good as the last one. I think this was my least favorite one out of the season so far. But it wasn't bad though. Now we finally know what happened in Vegas. I was thinking it was something like crazy, like Olivia and Spencer slept together or something, but it was only a kiss. Like, come on now. Like, is the secret that big because Spencer said that he was in love with her or like, what's the problem? Now, you already know how Layla is going to be acting the next episode. She's not going to want nothing to do with Spencer. And there's going to be a whole bunch of more drama, especially between Layla and Olivia. But I can't wait for the next one. What did you guys think of this episode? Comment down below what you thought. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all all American content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.